Good evening. In this recording, I'll continue explaining uh, section 4.11, which is uh, which gives examples uh, to modern processors, the ARM A53, which is uh, a, an example processor used in personal mobile devices, and the Intel Core i7 model 920 which is an example modern processor used in desktop server and the cloud computing uh, I've explained the uh, A53 pipeline in detail and uh, it, and showed uh, this this study that gives the performance achieved on this processor on multiple benchmarks the ideal CPI because this is a dual issue processor the ideal CPI is half uh, it, it could execute two instructions per clock or half clock per instruction but uh, most of the uh, benchmarks achieve about one or more clocks per uh, instruction. The worst one is the MCF which uh, on average spends about uh, eight and a half clocks per instruction. Um, we've also described the Core i7 pipeline which is much more complex pipeline because it fetches multiple uh, macro operations, multiple uh, complex instructions, uh, pre decode them, then uh, in the decode stage uses decoders to translate these macro operations into macro operations, and these macro operations are executed out of order speculatively in the uh, main execution pipelines of this processor uh, that also features reservation stations and reorder buffer. Now to the performance of uh, this processor uh, similar to the uh, experiment for the Cortex A53 uh, on, uh, we uh, let me show you uh, a more an enlarged view of this uh, experiment from the textbook. Uh, these are the spec benchmarks, and they are sorted from best performance to worst performance uh, the i7 is uh, a super scalar processor of degree 4 so in the best case in the ideal case it should be able to execute four instructions every cycle but uh, which means a quarter of uh, cycles per instruction so the ideal CPI is one fourth, but uh, all of these applications uh, need more time to execute uh, instructions. Uh, the worst one again is the M uh, MCF. It needs about two and two thirds clocks per instruction uh, on average. Um, uh, this uh, this extra time above the one quarter is due to various types of stalls and uh, for misspeculation. The next graph explains the misspeculation part. Now, uh, for each be benchmark here, we have uh, two bars one for the branch misprediction and the second for the wasted work um, uh, and the misprediction rate uh, 
ranges from about 0 to 6% uh, for M MCF. It means that 6% of branches are mispredicted. When the misprediction rate is high, there will be uh, a, mm, uh, a large percentage of wasted work. 39% uh, wasted work means that 39% of instructions, those instructions that were uh, executed speculatively, uh, were later on flushed because the uh, a previous branch was mispredicted. So after uh, the wasted work are those instructions that were uh, fetched and executed, but later on were flushed because they they, sh they should not have been executed. The speculation, the pre prediction before their execution was incorrect. Uh, this wraps up the uh, this part. I would like to ask you to uh, read the last two sections of the chapter policies and pitfalls, policies and pitfalls, and the concluding remarks. Good luck and bye.